I'll be back. And I'm back. Now, don't worry too much about him. In this episode, he's the good robot. So what exactly does the concatenator do? Okay, now, what he does is he names these graphics. All right, so the names underneath the pictures here, he creates those. So this is uh, the ones we were using in the tent cards. We'll take a look at these ones here in Seattle. These are the ones we're using for the Seattle restaurants. Okay, and let's take a look at Vancouver over here. And here's the ones we were using for the roofers in Vancouver. Now, originally, I couldn't get street views uh, like these. And so I was using maps, just chopping out maps from the map view. And this was a couple of years back when street view wasn't as good. So that's the reason I nicknamed this map. Okay, here was the first generation of spreadsheet here. And I'm going to show you the letter that's connected to this. Okay, and I just called the image, the graphics map at the time. You're going to see these uh, percentages and estimations of hits in the letter I'm going to show you, the document. Okay, so what the concatenator did was he looked at this here. And he looked at these stats here. And he looked at some of this information here. And he combined it all into a letter. And here's the letter. It uh, was for SEO purposes. OK, so we addressed the roofing company here. And I couldn't find them on the street. I couldn't find their building. So I just snipped out a map graphic. Then I cut out a little snippet of uh, where their competitors were compared to them, like who was ranking. And I put their competitors in here, in this little spreadsheet here. And there's the rest of the letter there. OK, now, when we actually look at this, if I flip through, you'll see that this changes and the graphics change. Now, in the first generation, I couldn't actually make those graphics change. OK, so we'll, we'll keep flipping through here like that. OK, now you'll notice that this is a date field. It changes automatically for the day that you actually look at this document. So today is September 8th that I'm doing this. But when I originally did this, it was back in uh, well, the end of 2011, somewhere around there. Now, Microsoft Word has different levels of hidden code. OK, and the one that you can ordinarily see is by clicking this on and off. And this is the ordinary merge code that you would normally see when you're using Word. So here's there's one, there's another one, how many hits they got. This is the keyword, which happens to be Vancouver Roofing. It can change. And the spreadsheet changes as well. OK, and that's pretty well it. So if I click on this button again, it actually shows the data. And again, here, we can see the data showing. And we can flip back and forth. And now I'm looking at the second level of embedded code. This is deeper than the first level. This is what people don't normally look at, OK? But in this case, I have to because it's the only way I can put in the embedded code to change the pictures. And here's the directory. So it's looking at this uh, folder here. So the concatenator looks at this directory where the graphics are. And it goes there, and it sees it wants this one called map, which is listed in the spreadsheet, and also that it's a JPEG. It adds the JPEG right here in the formula. This little part of it. So we'll flip you back to the spreadsheet I'll show you. And there it is. That column's called map. Here's the names of the graphics. OK. There's no .jpg on there because it's added in the previous formula. So let's take a look at this accent map. And there it is. There's accent map and .jpg. And it's under here in this particular director called Prospects Vancouver Roofers Map. So the concatenator looks at this. It looks at this. And it looks for this column here. And it looks at this. And it glues it all together. Here we are again. There's the name of the folder. There's the name of the column in the spreadsheet. And it tacks on the JPEG. So now when we transform it, can transform it back to the different images here. It can now interpret the images. 
So what you do is you print off this letter. And if you have email, of course, you can email it first before printing it off. But if you do print it off, you print it off and put it into the following envelope. And here's the envelope that would that letter would go into. And this is a really great hook, you know, need internet traffic, specializing in commercial and residential roof repair leads. So this guy's operating out of his home, obviously. This is the, the roofer's house that he's operating. He's operating uh, an in-home guy. <laughs> so he's going to see this letter. He's going to open this for sure. I mean, the picture of his house on there. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Okay, and you don't have to use this particular version of the word. Are you double click on it? I can do, I can pick something else if I want. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I could do this. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. Okay. So if I pick that, I could click on it like that. I can change the shape of it like that. I can move it up a bit like that. And there. Just transform the letter. So there's a lot of versatility here you can use. Okay, I think that needs to be outlined a little bit better, so I'm going to give it a black outline. Okay, that looks a little bit better. There you go. Need internet trap. Voila. You don't need big expensive art programs for this. It's all built in. And of course we can flip through the records here. Now, Sometimes there's a map, sometimes there's an image. But you get the idea. You match the uh, envelope with your letter, stuff it, and you're off. Now you notice that this spreadsheet has, uh, actually it's not really a spreadsheet, it's called a workbook. They changed the name back a few years ago to workbook because these are the spreadsheets here. If you click on the bottom, you can put different sheets in. So you can store all your data on one workbook, which I call the concatenator. Okay, now let's look at this one. Now the concatenator advanced to a higher degree. And, uh, you know, as he went through generations there over a couple of years, he got really, really bad, but bad in a good way. He was able to be destroyed and reformed, <laughs> just like in the show. And I could wipe out this whole section like this. Gone. And all I have to do to reform it is go like this. That copies the top row just by grabbing this little corner. And then you grab the corner again and drag it down. And it's all back again. Now these names here, I'm just going to right click and hide them. Uh, they're for members actually. Uh, you'll get a copy of this inside the members area, but I didn't want to display them to the whole internet. Okay, so if you want to take a crack at them, great. This one here I'm working on, so I'm going to hide that. But I'm going to take that out of the spreadsheet, so can't use that one. Um, and there's a couple of others too. So let's see what this bad boy can do here. Okay, so what the concatenator can do now in this generation is he looks at this Duda nickname. This is what you name your Duda website, sir. Okay, and uh, he'll look at that and then he'll concatenate. And what concatenate means is he glues together pieces of information. He'll take this piece of information and glue it into this formula. See where it says L3 there? Well, that's cell L3. See how pop it in there? And now what we can do is we can click on this site. Here we can go Control C. And I can go to my browser. There he is, right there. And pop that in there. 
and it gives us the mobile site. And what we can do is if we need to clip that out, we can just use our little snipper tool and clip it out, and we can use it in our graphics, save it as a graphics file. In this case, I'm not going to save it. Okay. What else can we do? Okay. In this column here, we can actually click on here at Control C. I'm not going to show you the whole formula. You can, you'll get a copy of this spreadsheet in the members area, okay? Because I don't want everybody using my account. But this is my account, and even if you create a mobile site in your own account and a free account, you can still use this. And we can go back to the uh, browser, paste that in, and the concatenator knows the formula to do a comparison, which you can't normally do unless you have a reseller account with Duda. But I'm sort of lending you this portion of my account so that you can look at the before and after of anything you create. Okay, in this case, we need it for a before and after on the postcard. And we'll just snip that out like that. And there you go. You got a before and after. So you can uh, mail that. You can email that, direct mail that, whatever. It's a real handy way of getting your before and afters. Okay, what else can this bad boy do? Okay, he can look at whatever's here. And he glues together whatever's in here, which is this Wendy's 3, plus this name, and he comes up with this name. And this is going to be the name of the graphics for both the before and after, the what I just showed you there, that little graphic. And this is what the formula looks like, OK? Now, if I were to change this to, let's say, test, something like that, see, it automatically reforms all the names of the graphics. So whatever you put in here is what is going to be. Okay, so we'll just leave it at that before or after. This here was if you just want a before shot. In other words, uh, before you transform the mobile site, that's how the concatenator would name these graphics. All right, now let's take a look here. And I've got a whole bunch, which is all explained in the course. And this is just the after shot. Okay, the preview. This is the QR code that goes with the after shot. Okay, and this has to do with flyers. If you're going to do a flyer, you want a picture of the phone on the front of the flyer. But in this case, they're restaurants, so we, we won't be using that. That's for the 10 cards. The logo can be used in a picture-on-picture -picture sort of situation, which I'll show you later. Um, and it is also used at the top of the tent card. And I'll show you a picture of the tent card here. OK. And this one here, Free Zero, that's the very first graphic on the tent card. And these are the other free samples. And over here, we got what they're offering for free. Free Frosty, free wrap, free salad, whatever. And there's the points. And this all gets put into the tent card now. Take a quick peek at a tent card again. All right, there's our logo for Wendy's. Let's go back to the spreadsheet here. And uh, where's the logo? There's logo. So that's what it's called. This is the formula that generates it. And we call it Wendy's underscore three logo. OK. and. That's what this graphic is called that the concatenator can recognize. And he pops it in these three spots here. This one here is this one. Wendy's three free zero. I named that zero because it was on the front. This one here, free one, is this image here. OK, so there's a name for all these images here. The concatenator knows where to put them, basically. So we can flip through all of these, and it figures it all out for you. So where you actually get these images, you can go to Google Images, um, 
to look at all the different logos. You clip out this one from the Duda site that I showed you. This QR code, you can go to QR stuff and generate a QR code. This here is just off of the regular Wendy's website, same with this and this. Okay, So you clip them out, you save them under whatever name the concatenator tells you to name them. So for instance, if I went to Wendy's website and I wanted to clip that out, I would look up to see what the name of this thing is going to be. It's going to be Wendy's underscore three free zero dot JPEG. Let's actually find that. Okay, so here's the graphics file. Here's all the Wendy's files, okay? So starting up here, this is Wendy's after AFT that I showed you before. And you can see the underscore three concatenator told me to name it that, so I did. This is the free zero. This is the one that you see in the tent card. That's the number two. There's their logo, and this is their QR code for looking at that website. And again, down here, you can see the, the pattern repeats itself. For instance, white spot here is the AFT there. The before, aft. Uh, I didn't know how else to do that, so before and after. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, there's the free one again. And so on. So the pattern just repeats itself over and over. The concatenator names, concatenator names all that stuff. I've stored some other graphics in here that you can use, like... Uh, I like this Zuckerberg quote here. And I've actually used that in some of my promo. It's a good quote. So I use that when I talk about the loyalty program. I'm, I'm saying, hey, guys, uh, quit just trying to hit them with a message. Get them to engage. And when you have a loyalty program, you're getting them to engage because you're using the smartphone. You're getting beeps on it, and they're, they're engaging with you. So you do what Zuckerberg did. Okay, and you'll grow. And uh, I do have that promotional letter. It's included in the course. So like I said before, I've tried to, uh, I've mailed out the tent cards and other promotional material to all these big guys. Okay, and the big guys, I mean, it's tough to get through their gates and keeper system. And you can try. Um, I've heard that if you keep pounding them with mail, eventually someone's going to connect. So, I mean, you might be the lucky one. If you do get a contract with them, it'll be your lucky day because it, it's worth millions, basically, if they actually do join up with a loyalty program with you. Now, I've been focusing on the smaller franchises, maybe like 50 restaurants and under. Okay, uh, That works better because someone will actually talk to you. <laughs> and, uh, and these big ones, it's quite a job. So you're welcome to all these graphics and all the contact names that I found out through a lot of phoning and uh, quite a few hours. So, I mean, go for it. And what I'm finding is your chances are actually better the smaller the franchise or even if it's a single um, a single store, like a dress shop, for instance. And I'm not, I'm not showing that one here, but I've got that actually covered. I've done one uh, single dress shop that's actually very high class that I'm going after right now. Okay, so on the website here, um, you'll be getting, you know, all the templates and spreadsheets and graphics here. Looks like that. And so far, this is the only video I've got under the new format, but there'll be a bunch of videos here. And uh, it's going to just show you step by step. There won't be any flipping all over the place. It's just one step after another. Once I get all the course materials in, uh, just one, two, three, follow each step. And progressive learning uh, built logically one step on another is not all over the place. So, <laughs> so far, this is all I've, I've done. I put the concatenator in there. And this is actually one of the older generations here. Okay, that about wraps it up for the concatenator. Now, I've shown you pretty well, if you've looked at all the videos, pretty well all the stuff that we will cover in the course. And I I know it's kind of lengthy and long, but I wanted you to be sure that you knew what you wanted to buy. So if you do want to get this course, just click the button below, and uh, you'll be on your way right away. Okay, there's no OTO in this thing. I get a 
little perturbed at OTOs. I, you know, I know it's a good sales technique and all that, but I just, why bother? You know, it's uh, you'll get everything. You get all the templates. You get the uh, course materials, everything. One deal. Uh, there's no wait now. You know, <laughs> as you go through, uh, I just love those sales tactics. I just not that type of guy. So you just you get what you get here. I'm just showing you the bare facts here. And in the end, you'll be able to do anything that you can design anything that Word can design. I'm going to show you a bunch of tricks with Word. Um, and of course, the intricate details of how to do all this. And you're going to be a pro by the time you finish. I've seen a lot of other courses that have bits and pieces of this, but uh, really, uh, Word is like they put millions of bucks into it, and you may as well use the millions of bucks program modified. You probably won't see anything like this until the year 2015, or maybe 2017, <laughs> if Word can even do it. Uh, I don't think they can figure out a way to do it because you need, there's too many components here. Uh, so now you've got a very advanced version of Word here converted. Now I'm using 2007. It will work for the other ones too. So just click the button below and get into it. You gotta, uh, if this is still on the WSO uh, that I'm offering, then you got a 15 day direct guarantee. If you're not buying this to the WSO, then you get what you get. It's going to be at the higher price. Okay, uh, sorry, but I'm only going to offer this special for a little while. And I'm going to close it and really close it. And it's, you've got enough material here in the videos that'll show you exactly what you should expect. I mean, I don't even have to offer it. 15 day guarantee. You can see it works. The worst that'll happen, even if you don't go out and do anything, is you're going to have a version of Word that is far superior to even their latest version. So <laughs> you've really got nothing to lose here. Okay. So click the button below. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks.